Very well then, a very warm welcome to you wherever it is you're tuned in from. It's 8.30 p.m. Wednesday and when you see that bumper right there, it's time to talk matters technology. I'm Brian Zetotieno, welcome to another episode of Tech File where we'll be talking all matters technology. First off, I'm going to be giving you the latest news in the world of technology. Then later on, I'll be telling you how people in the Kibera constituency where this episode is coming to you from are being trained actually on matters of artificial intelligence and how they're using this to be paid in guess what cryptocurrencies and it's actually impacting their lives in a very positive way so we are talking about artificial intelligence for social good but first off the tech news of the week Ghana's national identity card, the Ghana card, has been recognized globally as a valid e-passport in all international civil aviation organization ICAO compliant countries and will enable holders of the card to board flights to Ghana from 197 countries and 44,000 airports worldwide. Thus, the Ghana card as well as its future biometric equivalents will now be duly recognized globally as valid e-passports stroke ID cards in fulfillment of a pledge by the Vice President Dr. Mahamudu Baumia that Ghanaians anywhere in the world would soon be able to travel back home using their Ghana cards. <laughs> Google-owned video streaming giant YouTube is finally getting support for picture-in-picture PIP on iPhone and iPad. Talking to The Verge, YouTube Chief Product Officer Neil Mohan said while he couldn't share an exact date, picture-in-picture support on iOS should arrive hopefully in the next few months for YouTube TV users. The feature has been available for Android users for quite a while, but support for YouTube TV users on iOS is long overdue. Meanwhile, YouTube TV is also working on expanding some other features that includes surround sound, which was launched last year on a very limited subset of devices. The Biden administration has unveiled a plan to award nearly $5 billion worth over five years to build thousands of electric vehicle charging stations. The nationwide network of electric vehicle charging stations would place new or upgraded ones every 50 miles, that is an equivalent of 80 kilometers, along interstate highways as part of the administration's plan to spur widespread adoption of zero emission cars. Under Department of Transport requirements, state must submit plans to the federal government and can begin construction this year if they focus on highways, routes, rather than neighborhoods and shopping centers that can allow people to take their electric vehicles long distances. Each station would need to have at least four charging points which enable drivers to fully recharge their vehicles in about an hour. Finally, Google has announced early access to a new version of Chrome OS called Chrome OS Flex. The new version of Chrome OS, designed for businesses and schools, is designed to run on old PCs and Macs. The operating system can be installed within minutes, according to Google's blog post. Google says that Chrome OS Flex will look and feel identical to the Chrome OS on a MacBook, it's built from the same code base and follows the same release cadence. It did caveat that some features may be dependent on the hardware of the PC you are using. In fact, it said this for every specific feature we asked about. Okay, now you are up to date with what's been happening in the technology work for the better part of the week. But first off, we just want to talk to you about artificial intelligence and how it is being used to actually impact lives in Kibera constituency in the slum area right here. The community is benefiting big time from programs of artificial intelligence. Digital skills are being trained here. We just want to show you how that is actually being enabled. So let's get into the thick of it. What is this thing called artificial intelligence? Kibera, Nairobi. A place known for informal settlements, crime and low life, everyone is on a struggle to survive daily. A handful make it, you'll be lucky if you got properly educated because as one of the residences here, Jacqueline Atieno told us, education is highly valued. Mm. Kama 
mm. ataona maybe apate hawa watu wa nduthi mm. mtu ampea hata so mm. anaona ai huyu mse wa nduthi kumbe ni mtu mwingine anaweza ni nisaidia mtoto mm. shule yake inaribikia hapo After assessing the risks facing today's girl child, the UN through WFP organized an artificial intelligence training for young ladies in the area to learn tech related skills and earn a living. Kazi hii ni kuhusu kuhusu computer na ku na ina inasaidia inasaid, kujua more about tagging. E, Nilihitimu so ndo nikakuja nika huku ndo nikaangalia vitu zenye zinatakikana zina na nikapita imenisaidia kujimudu kimaisha kwa sababu ni training muna, tunafundishwa na bado tunalipwa ya yeah, so iko tu sawa skills zenye tumeweza kupata ni about data annotation data labeling na data segmentation nikimaliza nitaendelea kuangalia online niangalie kuna kazi gani naweza apply zenye nacho Um, my name is Morphin Williams Ogutu. I'm a resident here in Kibra. I'm um, a student, a third year student at Multimedia University. I do film production. This is a new skill actually that I'm acquiring. I've never done any skill like this one. So I'm very happy to do to like get knowledge of this skill. A friend of mine linked me Uh, sent the link through um, WhatsApp then I applied for it you actually apply then they'll select people so we were selected 40 girls to come and get this skill we were told we are going to be trained and then afterwards maybe some if there's jo a job or anything they'll link us to those places <laughs> I've never been to that field so this is a different field from what I've been doing and it's actually amazing you can actually wa work from home and earn money you know yeah that's something that I never used to do so I'm very happy to do this they're paying us through seller dollars then there's a way you can actually withdraw it through Mpesa I've actually started earning yeah so the more uh, you perform better the more you earn money yeah so it's actually about your performance I couldn't cut my exams <laughs> it's not like a school thing it's just about you yeah if you actually perform better uh, in this project and you get there's a percentage that you get if you get 100% you get more money if you get 50% you get less money it's actually a motivation and most girls over here are really performing well so ukiona maybe you, you got a 50 from the previous project and someone got a 70 we're actually helping each other so that one can improve and also get that skill and know it better yeah It has given me a, a, a good perspective on online work as I said. So I want to uh, know more about digital microwork and I want to venture in that field also because I've seen there are less girls than boys. As you can see here to meleta was chana wengi sana because in that field there are more boys than girls. So I actually want to go in that field of digital microwork and also um tell more girls to actually embrace this because it's something that they can use hata kama you won't get a job today or tomorrow you'll get it somewhere else my final words to the people out there <laughs> digital microwork is something that a girl can do a boy can do it's actually about you opening up your mind and just if you want to learn you will learn you know just embrace it embrace it and do it if you're a girl out there do it just believe in yourself and do it my name is peter mudaura mm. i am the director of uh, training and strategic partnerships at the human needs project the human needs project exists to build uh, infrastructure for opportunities in places where they don't exist mm. and so we have a wide range of services uh, but they can be easily categorized into two as uh, wash and sanitation services and empowerment services and under empowerment we have a lot of uh, a number of training programs including meeting rooms and uh, and uh, savings and credit cooperative organization entrepreneurship training professional video production training uh, nikon digital photography training and the biggest category being the ICTs it's been a good experience it's actually very fulfilling because uh, nothing is better than having uh, young people coming back to you and and seeing that we came here 
with hope and we left with opportunity. We had one of the biggest uh, partnerships in the past with an organization called Sanmasos. We have had over 2,000 young people getting actually trained here and employed okay. at their, B, their BPO. Okay. And we have many other partnerships uh, like the Nikon Digital uh, Photography Training which we are offering in partnership with the ISL. Okay. We have had very many other young people employed in uh, production houses, in studios, in ISL's uh, shops. My name is Bonfaz Gishohe. I come from Cuba in a village called Katekera. I'm a beneficiary of Impact Program in the first cohort where we learned about digital work and micro work where we did and we passed. We started the, doing the production part and apart from that I'm also a community leader. Okay. I'm just trying to empower the community through chess. The course to, took two weeks to complete. Okay. Initially during the corona pandemic I unfortunately I lost my house, I lost my job and then I was in a very bad state and mental wise. So by the time the program kicked in and then I earned, at least I was able to get my life back back in 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 the rest. So I got a house, I started now starting now empowering the community using chess, at least the little money that I got, uh, where I started training kids on playing chess. My name is Janet Brandi Awiti, a resident of Kibra, and I was lucky enough to be part of the Microdigital Work Program, where we got to be trained on online skills and how to work online. So it has really been of help to me personally. The biggest lessons I took away from the Microdigital Work was, I mean, I gained a lot because Previously, I didn't know on how I can work online, but then from the program, I even got to to find other sites that I can work online, like Remotas. Through the program, I was able to save, and I even started my own business from the money that I saved, because previously I, I had savings, so it added to the savings and I was able. My name is Rosemary Gatahi and I'm part of the innovation team at the World Food Program. Impact is um, a digital livelihood project where we connect uh, young men and women to training and jobs on the internet. We, we really believe a lot in this uh, program, Impact, because we, through Impact, we are teaching people how to fish rather than giving them fish. And um, this is important for the World Food Program because our aim is to finish hunger by the year 2030. So, you know, we realized a while back that uh, we need to be a little innovative in how we approach uh, this task so that we accelerate and reach zero hunger by 2030. And um, one of our projects, uh, Impact, you know, it, it was really sort of like a no-brainer. The digital economy is on the rise. It's a billion dollar um, uh, economy and there's opportunities that are available and accessible to everybody irrespective of the geography. So we asked ourselves how might we then extend these opportunities to the people that we serve in the different um, areas that we work in. And uh, Kibera is a community that uh, we felt could really, really benefit from this because there's a very large pool of talented young men and women and um, it has great access to technology. Um, all that was missing is a small piece, um, you know, setting up some infrastructure here and there, which we've been able to do with, uh, you know, very generous support of our donors. It is our, our hope and our dream that every person who goes through impact lives with the ability to sustain themselves and their families for the rest of their lives. All right, and now you are on the know on how artificial intelligence is actually being used for social good. But then, let me now show you some very interesting videos from the net on technology.